Hi everyone, I am Jishma. I welcome you to your, my YouTube channel, Brilliant Bankers. Today I am conducting a class on cybercrime and fraud management. So in this class we are going to learn everything you need to know about cybercrime, like how to protect yourself from it and uh, how to manage fraud if it does happen to you. Cybercrime is a growing problem in uh, today's digital world. So criminals are using uh, increasingly sophisticated methods to steal our data, our money, or uh, our identities. But uh, there are things we can do to protect ourselves. Uh, so in this class, we will learn about the different types of cybercrime, how to identify them, and uh, how to avoid them, how to protect them. Okay. So we'll all also learn about the best practices for fraud management. This includes how to detect fraud, how to report it and how to recover from it. Okay. Whether you are an individual, a business owner or a government uh, official, this class is for you. Cybercrime is a threat to everyone but it doesn't have to, uh, be, uh, have to be a victim. By attending this class, you will learn how to protect yourself and your organization from a cybercrime and fraud in this class we are going to um, cover a wide range of uh, topics including uh, what is cybercrime the different types of cybercrime how to identify and avoid cybercrime uh, best practices for fraud management how to detect report and recover from fraud okay so I'm extra excited to teach you about this important topic of the cybercrime as a serious threat to individuals, business people and government, governments all over the world. But by understanding the risk and taking steps to protect ourselves, we can all reduce our chances to, of uh, becoming our victims. I hope you will join me on this journey together so we can learn how to stay safe in the digital world so let's get started introduction to cyber crimes so cyber crimes is it's not a new word which is very familiar and which is very common and you know what the cyber crimes what are all the cyber crimes happening around in, in and around us so cyber crime is that any crime that happens with the help of a computer as using uh, using the computer as a medium or a weapon any crime that happens is called cyber crimes. Okay, so in the, as the technology improved, you uh, you uh, know that uh, day by day, new new technology is being invented, new gadgets is being invented. Um, for everything, we have uh, simple or the other gadgets or simple or other techniques to solve that problem. So for each and everything, we are using internet. So as the uh, Technology will increase day by day. The crime is crime rate is also increasing day by day. So for uh, any any uh, the man can access anything, any possible thing that man can think can be done through the medium of internet. Okay. So we are using for so uh, the internet is being used for social networking, online shopping, storing data, gaming, online studying, online jobs for every thing we are using. Uh, we are taking the help of internet. So not uh, not like before. Nowadays, the cybercrime is being increased uh, very much, and India is not uh, far behind that. We are also have uh, rising crime rates, uh, cybercrime rates. Okay. So before we had uh, we we didn't have uh, that much awareness of the cybercrimes, what is happening, and uh, how to prevent it, how to protect it, and how to react for the cybercrimes. But Nowadays, it is very easy to recognize what is happening. Um, is, is it a crime or not? Uh, is the service is good or any link which is uh, sent to you? Is uh, Whether we have to see that link and whether we should not. And we all know that the OTP should not be shared. All those things. So first, we are going to see what is cybercrime. Cybercrime be defined as the unlawful act where the computer is used uh, either as a tool or a target or both. Which means the cyber crimes is of three ways. That is, cyber crime can be uh, done uh, firstly 
to crash the computer or to crash the database or to spoil the database. That is, we are targeting the computer and we are crashing the data which is there in that. That is the first way and we are using as a tool. Next is, we are using the computer as a medium or a weapon to uh, crash uh, or to get the information or um, of others or to uh, any uh, anyone uh, to spoil the career or something like that we are using the computer or uh, for say you can see the online harassment cyber uh, stalking all those things so that is uh, happened through the media uh, we are using the computer as a medium so that is what is the second way or the third way is it can be done like both as a tool or the target so firstly we are using uh, we are uh, crash uh, we are hacking the computer or we are inputting some virus and we have to uh, anyone is uh, spoiling the computer we are targeting only the computer but in second case we are using the computer as a weapon or a medium to target some other one or uh, we uh, and the third way is we are using the two uh, we are using the uh, as a tool or a target this term is general that covers the crimes like phishing phishing credit card frauds bank uh, robbery illegal downloading industrial espionage child pornography kidnapping children by chat room scams cyber cyber terrorism creation and distribution of viruses spam and so next is cyber crime is uh, is a bo both term that is used to define criminal activity so anything which is happening uh, in cyber crime is itself a criminal activity right so um, it is a place where the criminal activity uh, include everything and um, cracking of denial of services attacks. It uh, it covers the traditional commerce which co covers with, uh, that is targeting the computer or the computer network itself for doing any illicit activity or illegal activity. So we are next we are moving to different types of cyber crimes. So as I said earlier. The crimes can happen in which the computer is itself the target. Uh, that is, um, for example, that is hacking virus attacks, DOS attacks. Next, the second, second method is the crime in which the computer is used as a weapon. As I explained you earlier, first, we are targeting the computer. We are, uh, we are, next is the computer is used as a weapon. So again, different kinds of cyber crimes. So we have a few uh, kinds of cyber crimes that first one is unauthorized access and hacking. So um, once again, I'll tell you, please read this uh, PDF uh, very clearly. So it may help you to clear the MCQs, I mean exam. So unauthorized access is, an, uh, it is simply, it is that without the permission or of the, uh, without the permission or knowledge of a person, we are using their computer is called unauthorized access that is unauthorized access means any kind of access without the permission either of the rightful or person in charge of the computer or a computer system or a computer network so uh, without the uh, permission of the in charge uh, of the computers we are using uh, without their permission or without the knowledge we are using a computer computer system or computer network is called unauthorized access next is hacking Hacking is that, um, which means an illegal intrusion into the computer system or a network. That is illegal intrusion. The intruding illegally is called hacking. So hackers, uh, they may have they uh, they make uh, they may write programs of their own, or they have some ready-made programs to target into the computer uh, to uh, the computer. These hackers. Uh, uh, why they, why they are hacking the computer? First thing is they'll hack the computer for stealing some uh, information, just for uh, uh, spoiling some cracking, uh, crashing some database or something like that. Second is uh, for their personal monetary gains. So hackers hack their computer for their uh, personal monetary gains, such as stealing the credit card information, transferring money from various banks to their own uh, account, followed by withdrawal of money. That is for their personal uh, monetary gains. They are hacking the computer and they are gaining. Uh, they are uh, getting all the informations of the um, owner of the computer and uh, for their withdrawal of the money. Next is like, a government websites is mostly targeted sites for their hackers. Next is 
web hijacking web hijacking is that as the name mention itself uh, hijacking is that it's taking control over the website so it is very clear uh, easy to uh, remember web so web hijacking means control uh, it means taking forceful control over the website so the owner of the website uh, itself cannot make any correction or cannot um, do anything with that it loses he may, uh, loses his control over the website and the content so the hacker uh, or the hijacker may take uh, forceful control over that website next is cyber stalking cyber stalking is that you may uh, know which is uh, even happening in the social networking media uh, that is posting some videos or uh, um, information about someone or uh, fake fake information or fake news or fake videos or fake posts anything that has been um, posting in in the common platform and harassing them through the online uh, through the online by sending some messages or uh, harassing with the phone calls so this is what called cyber stalking so uh, here you please read this uh, paragraph again it is making harassing phone calls killing the uh, victim pets vandalizing victims leaving written messages or objects then uh, cyber stalking means it is a repeated uh, as a harassment or threatening behavior of the cyber criminal towards a victim by using internet service cyber stalking can be online or offline so as you seen before they killing the victim pets, pets and all it is offline offline method right so it the cyber stalking can be happened uh, through online or offline method uh, offline means next is how do the cyber stalkers operate cyber stalkers operate first thing is if the stalker is a known for uh, if the stalker is a uh, known person to the victim so uh, he it is very easy to get their uh, details like uh, any uh, name family background telephone numbers anything it is very easy to get if he is a known person to the victim if otherwise so everything is a data right uh, name is a data uh, uh, phone number is a data date of birth is a data everything is a data it is a valuable data so if he is a known person he can get easily if he is not uh, a known person a person if he is a stranger then he take the medium computer and he gets all the information from the computer he collect all the information and he start he'll start to follow the victim and he'll start to uh, um uh, send message uh, sending messages to sending emails chatting through emails or uh, uh, posting some uh, lang uh, obscene languages or filthy words or something like that to get the intent uh, interest or it to get the attention of the victim so uh, second thing second way is that he may uh, uh, fully take control over the uh, account of an uh, victim and he'll start posting the information on his account the victim's account the stalker will post uh, some unrelated and some sex related uh, posts or dating services in the victim's account so the people who are uh, seeing those posts will be uh, who is anyone if it, anyone is interested to it they may start calling and um, uh, calling the victim and disturbing so uh, by that the stalker uh, star, um, disturbs the victim so the people uh, who seeing uh, the people who seeing his account they may think this victim is uh, services so they they will also uh, start to send messages this even the uh, stalker itself send some messages if the person is not um, responding to any of these things the stalker itself will send the messages or he will use this uh, victim's account for the, some innumerable uh, pornographic and sex sites because of which which victim starts receiving such kind of unsolicited emails online stalking the stalker can make a third party to arrest the victim so the next next way of uh, stalking is that the online stalk the stalker can have the third party he will get the third, third party first uh, he will uh, hang out with the uh, victim he will start sending some loving messages or um, some good messages or something like that if the victim is not responding to that messages he will start to um, send some uh, 
like augmentative uh, insulting messages to get their attention so uh, in in any of the way in uh, good way or bad way he start uh, try he start to get the you know, attention from the victim next otherwise as i said earlier they'll start uh, um, sending messages through uh, email or uh, through, uh, they'll uh, they use they they'll start to chat uh, on their on your account personal uh, personal space or uh, they'll if you if they know your uh, phone number they'll start calling in uh, to the phone itself so that is what cyber stalking next is denial of service attack denial of service attack is that it, it's a big paragraph you, you can read this uh, so all these terms you have to uh, just keep in uh, uh, keep remember um, this denial of service attack is in simple is that see suppose if you are um, um, trying to download a song uh, in any um, in uh, like uh, say you have actually like gana or something like that Uh, if you are trying to download, for example, if you are trying to download, you will be uh, uh, clicking that link. But it will be other than downloading option, it will be going to some other sites. It will be showing unwanted cookies, all the, some ads or something like that. So you will not be knowing where you want to click at, where is the download option. It will be showing up download option, uh, big big uh, in big. Uh, I mean, um, some larger sizes words. so but uh, if you click that larger size download option then you will be uh, downloading the the ad, ad, uh, advertisement which is given that for say it is like a rummy or any other cookies or any other page uh, sex related pages or something like that so you will be wondering where to click or how to download this song so that is what called denial of service so you wanted to download a song but you will, you are not able to download Yeah, uh, instead of downloading, it it's it's showing some other uh, pages or some other uh, links or something like that, some other ads or something like that. It's called denial of service attack. And at last, it will say uh, it will uh, it will be showing a message like uh, it's in harmful to uh, download this. Uh, it you you may uh, have a virus attack. So please download this particular app or something like that. So this is what called denial. So denial of service attack. next we are going to see virus attacks virus attacks is a same like that the virus infections as you get uh, in your body that virus get into your body and they start replicating then start they'll start affecting the other uh, functions of the other organs in the body the same way the vi when the virus has been attacked when if Uh, when the virus is being attacked to your system, it gets start uh, infecting the programs, the other program which is installed in your computer, and it it start making copies of itself and spread into another program. So all these viruses or this uh, which uh, programs that attack the software is called malicious software, malicious the malware, the malicious software. So these having a uh, different names for these malicious software that is virus, worms, trojan host. time bomb logic bomb rabbit and bacteria all these are the malicious software so what the virus does virus usually affect the computer uh, uh, computer data by altering or deleting it what does it do it uh, it enters into the computer program uh, enters into the uh, when the virus attacks the computer uh, it uh, it affects the data by altering or deleting it but the worms is not like that it makes merely the functional copies of themselves and do this report repeatedly till they eat up all the available things so uh, um, what uh, worms uh, it makes a functional copies of themselves next tro trojan horse is a program that is uh, acts like something which is very useful but it does uh, it does only the things that quite damping your programs so this trojan comes into two parts that is one is client part and the server part when the victim starts the computer unknowingly it it starts a server machine and it will attack the uh, client machine also it will start to attack the and they they will start to use the the client will get connected to the trojan okay the tcp and ip ip protocol is the usual protocol and it is used for the communication but some functions of the trojan use the udp protocol as well so that's all for the uh, today's uh, we uh, class today's video thank you for watching please uh, subscribe share and like thank you